morning everyone welcome back to a brand new vlog so it's currently wednesday the 21st of february it's actually my best friend's birthday today and also my niece's birthday as well so happy birthday if you are watching this video so yeah i think i mentioned the last video that something spectacular happened at my best friend's house and i was totally ambushed I was scracking my eyes out. So my best friend got engaged on Christmas day this year and oh, I'm so over the moon for it. Anyway, I went round for a simple coffee and cake morning. That's what we like to do and have a right good chin wag. That's what we call it in the North. Do you call it a chin wag, like a right good natter? <laughs> That's what we call it up here, just in case you didn't know that. And you was like, chin wag, what's a chin wag? <laughs> yeah, she presented me with this little box. It's got my name on it and I knew what it was straight away. How pretty, you know I love pretty packaging. And yeah, so I thought I would show you what's inside because it's absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous little ribboned box. Like you guys know how much I love pretty packaging. I'm gonna keep this in my future dressing room. Always thinking ahead. Let me just scoot over here because you can see then. Inside is the most beautiful box. So at the top there it says, will you be my bridesmaid? I mean, I already knew what it was before I actually opened the lid and emotion had already like literally overwhelmed me. Like I couldn't, I couldn't, it just comes to me emotion. Like, and I don't care, it's beautiful, isn't it? To be that vulnerable and those moments. So I was already scratching my eyes out. <laughs> a little silk scrunchie saying, will you help me tie the knot to have and to hold your hair back? <laughs> I thought that was just amazing. This little diamond scrunchie, like that is so cute. Now my best friend, she loves all this kind of stuff. So she's having a ball since she got engaged, designing and organizing. In fact, when I was at her house having a coffee, like there was literally things arriving <laughs> every two minutes, like, oh, parcel at the door. And literally right now, I'm actually wondering if that may be a color of the theme of the wedding. And then we have a little champagne flute. How cute is that? With my name on it, obviously, how fitting. Will you be my bridesmaid? A little iced heart biscuit. It's so cute, I can't open it and eat it, which is a good thing, especially now. <laughs> Look at the colors. Then we have this gorgeous little faux rose, which is absolutely adorable. I'm sure I'll be able to find somewhere to pop this rose around the house because you've got to save all these things haven't you we have a little pink gordon's gin i used to love pink gin one night i drank oh i must have drank too much of it or just had a bad night off of it the hangover the next day i was so sick i've never drank it since <laughs> like i feel emotional because i've never been a bridesmaid before i've never been asked to be a bridesmaid before what's that saying always a bridesmaid never a bride well, unfortunately, before I got married as well, I was never a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> but it's an absolute honour to be asked to be a bridesmaid at my best friend's wedding. And I am just, I'm just so excited to be asked to be a part of the day in such a special way. Like what an honour that is, isn't that nice? So yeah, that happened and it's an honour. All I can say is, let the wedding fun begin. Can you hear that? Literally, it's a really windy day, what's new? Windy and rainy outside, and I'm used to it now, getting used to it anyway, but the um, the noises in the house when it's windy or stormy, it's like a moo cow, isn't it? It's like Aah. And obviously I'm on the water now because we're flushing out the system. Since I was asked to be a bridesmaid, <gasps> the diet starts today. <laughs> Like, I'm actually serious about dieting now. Like, I, I hope I am anyway. <laughs> so this arrived from Amazon. Now, I thought I ordered, and it's probably just due to the colour on the screen. Screens make things look different colours. Like, I know that because I film a lot, but a lot of people don't know that. Especially when you're buying something and you expect it to come in a certain colour. Sometimes it can come not quite right colour, and it's probably the right product. It's just the screen. It's just the screen. You know how specific I am? with 
details well i just really wanted a specific look because it's like brown and the iconic colors it's not going to be perfect i'm just going to quickly whack it on and show you because it's not staying like i said i'm after a certain color so kind of that's what it ends up looking like so you wrap the bandana around and as you can see it just covers the top handle and keeps it from um water spots and watermarks and yeah that's how it's meant to look now it is a nice shade it does go well it tones well with the brown of the actual um monogram print but yeah it's actually a orange rusty color i want and i've ordered one from shein because they seem to have the color that i'm after i'm hoping like i said with the screen colors that it, it's going to come and it's the right shade i also ordered a couple more bits and bobs from shein i can't even remember now you know i like to do random orders from shein like <laughs> Oh, I did order the organizer, didn't I, from Shein as well. So that's going to come in that order. So we will set up this case again. We'll pop the organizer in and then we'll pop all of our beauty products and skincare products in. And I'm so excited to start using it, really. What time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I'm clock watching because I'm going to pick Joelle up from the train station this morning. So I've got to be there at a specific time. I'm just spending the day with Joelle today. So um, comfy, cozy clothes. Like I said, it's windy and raining. Like what's new? We're not actually doing anything fabulous. We might go to a nice coffee shop, maybe, on our travels. So I will bring you along with me if we do anything at all. But we've basically got a lot of admin stuff to do. You know, just getting our ish together. I have another box here. So, you know, in the last video when I was saying this, I've got something exciting coming. Well, I made my first order with Chanel. And I ordered it directly from Chanel. So I'm just really excited because it's my first order with Chanel. So the box comes like that. Then we have an envelope. I don't know if you can see that. And then inside the envelope is this little delivery note which is basically obviously i'm not going to show it yet because it's just an invoice i'm going to be totally keeping that envelope for the office so inside we have this gorgeous little box look at it it's so beautiful just the way it's packaged again it's just like a cardboard gorgeous velvet ribbon at the top and obviously iconic chanel branding on there i'm going to totally keep this box i just love pretty packaging Especially when someone's made such an effort with it. It's like, how can you throw it away, you know? And when you open up the ribbon, the box opens up like this. Isn't that just the cutest? You know, for when you're traveling and things like that, totally going to keep that little drawstring Chanel bag. Gorgeous packaging that you don't pay any extra for, which is why I ordered the main event from Chanel directly because I wanted to see how it arrived in the packaging and I also wanted some of the free samples because I've got the niece BB I'm actually looking for minis and because the samples are all minis I thought it's a great way of collecting minis so yeah this you see in here is the free samples so I got to choose with my purchase two free samples so I'm going to totally butcher this with my northern accent aren't I it's called Bleu de Chanel let's have a little sniff test Ooh, it's nice it's very nice the second thing in here which is just the cutest little thing in the world look at that why am i shaking in here is this little mascara now i do prefer a brown mascara but they didn't have the option it's called the noir which is black i did do french at school but i wasn't very good at it at school in fact if i could turn back time if i could turn back time if I could find a way, I would go back and I would be a good girl and I would learn French properly because how nice is it to learn another language? I didn't appreciate my education at all when I was a young girl. The tiniest little mascara you guys have ever, ever seen. Look at it. <gasps> but it's just perfect for on the go in your handbag or in your vanity case when you're traveling like i said i thought great opportunity to get some really bougie minis to go in my vanity case i'm not going to use them unless i'm traveling either and you've probably got a few days out of this mascara i would even say a couple of weeks at least to have it for free and that gorgeous packaging as well in the case isn't that just nice 
Also, this little drawstring bag could fit in the case as well with like little bits of jewellery and rings and things like that. So that's really handy as well. Right, I'm definitely, definitely going to butcher this again, but it's called La Creme Main. And I think you say it in French like man, because like Balman, but spell M-A-I-N. And it's essentially a hand cream. So it looks like this little egg and then the top pops off and it's like a squeezy bottle. And you just squeeze it out like that. And I really love the shape of it, by the way. I did try this yesterday. If everybody else has got it, like it must be really good. And I have been looking for a, a, a hand cream because I heard, who was it, Michelle Keegan? I heard her say to use hand cream all the time because everybody concentrates on the face and your hands also age. So I've been looking for a really nice hand cream and I'm not used to using hand creams at all. So we've gone in with the most bougiest one. I'll definitely let you know how I get on with it, but it gives this, it's like a velvet suede feel. It feels luxury in the hand, for sure. So it smells good, but I don't know why, but I was expecting it to smell like incredible, like a perfume, and it's not a perfume, it's a hand cream. And I suppose with it being a lotion, it can't have too much perfumes in because obviously then that's irritating to the skin and they're gonna have to cater for most people. Hence why it doesn't like smell incredibly fragrant but it smells nice nonetheless. And so, yeah, I got influenced by everybody else. And that's everything I wanted to show you this morning. So let's get ready for the day and go and get Joelle from the train station. When's Mother's Day? I think it's 10th of March. Is it? Microwavable boucle heat pack. Do you know what that would be good for? Me and my periods. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh, look, glass bud vase. That's gorgeous, Joelle. You can buy them oils and put yeah. them in with some sticks and that's a gorgeous reed diffuser, isn't it? <gasps> that's beautiful. You're blooming lovely, it says. <laughs> Best mum ever. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from my mama. Pet parent. Oh my gosh, Joel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lemoncello. Did I tell you when we were in Italy, we went in the lemoncello shop. They gave us free shots. <laughs> yeah, well, we were going to buy a bottle. We were going to buy a bottle, though, for the bar, but we decided not to in the end because it'll just get left there and i said to your dad i got you one once did you like it yeah i was a better though you got me um, a pink clemoncello well do you like aperol spritz yeah you do yeah i like it i've got a little bottle of my way for 22 pound whispering angel for 21 that's not the biggest bottle they do though is it well that looks good because i'm gonna do a garden in the window and then we've got this Encyclopedia of Garden Design. Paper, honeycomb, yellow chicks. But what, what for? They used to have them in school, you know, little fluffy ones. And it's, even then you're like... You like the wreath and the garlands better because yeah. they're a little bit more muted. Where did we go? And we saw them and they were like really bright. It was in the range. Yeah. They're much nicer in here. Yeah, I've got that bit on mine. It's not as nice as my head. Do you need puff or sugar? <laughs> We want spaghetti. Yeah, like the spaghetti. Linguini, though. No. no. Oh, no. Or do you want the tagliatelle oh. stuff? No, I don't like the tagliatelle. Not for this dish. I think really? you're meant to have it with... You're either meant to have it with spaghetti or linguine. I wouldn't no, mind we, that. We Which one do you want? Wanted. It's all the same. Which one do you fancy, Joelle? You can do anything, but I, like I think... I squished down one. You like this one? Yeah. I mean, I'll eat anything. Right, well, we'll get that then. Yeah from Sainsbury's and we picked up some fresh egg pasta because I am craving carbonara from Italy. Got some cheese sauce from Sainsbury's. I'm gonna put my own Parmesan in there. I've got some bacon to pop in because like carbonara. And then I've got some garlic baguettes. So yeah, me and Joelle are gonna now have a right good natter and a right good late lunch and fill ourselves up on pasta when i've just said this morning that i'm meant to be on a diet 
and then also I've got some puff pastry because I'm going to make Ash a chicken pot pie tonight as well. So, so that's lunch and dinner sorted. Does Ralphie need wee wees? Yeah. Okay then. Guys, watch him. Watch him. He goes, Geronimo. If he does it, he, he launches himself onto the lawn watch. Oh, he didn't do it. And that is how rainy it is today. Ralphie, darling. Does Ralphie want chicken? Good morning. Guys, sorry about the hair today, but it's super rainy day again. So it's currently, what day is it? You know what, I'm like losing track of time. Like I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday, Thursday the 22nd of February. Today, the day after. The day after, the day before. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm presenting myself like this to you guys, but I've literally just clipped my hair out of my face, more or less. And yeah, there's no point doing the hair when it's so rainy outside. It's so rainy this week and I just want spring to arrive already. Anyway, I've got a few errands we need to do this morning, so let's get going. We've got comfy clothes on, nice hoodie, some wide leg joggers and some Ugg boots. And literally, that's all I look like at the moment. <laughs> Time is not on my side, which is fine. Like, this is real life, isn't it? So if you see me out there in the streets looking like this, <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> let's get going, shall we? Need to get some fresh air in this place. Let's just open the window. Can you hear the rain, everybody? Well, the birds are still chattering and it's raining. I keep meaning to update you on book club as well and I keep forgetting, but basically for February's book club, I chose one of my all time favorites, The Great Gatsby. So, obviously, it is a vintage cover, but it's got this paper on it, which I don't mind at the moment because hands all over it. It just saves the actual cover. The cover is a gorgeous cream style hardback cover. Like, isn't that going to look lovely on the eventual library bookshelf situation in the future? So, until, but until then, it's going to stay safe in this, like, paper cover. And yeah, The Great Gatsby. I've obviously seen the film. I love it. It's one of my favourites. In fact, I might watch that tonight because me and Ash keep struggling what to watch. I might watch The Great Gatsby tonight. It's just one of my all-time favourites. Like, everybody wants to be loved. Like, Gatsby loves Daisy, don't they? Like, what a love story that is. Like, I'm all about a love story. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway, that's February's cover and that's what I'm reading at the moment. I took it to Italy with me. I keep meaning to show you guys and update you on book club. And yeah, that's the one. So I don't know what's going to be March, March's book, but let's just get through this one first. How much are you betting, guys, that this radio is set to love songs? Because my husband loves to listen to love songs yep yep a little different than all the rest i quite old-fashioned wear a hat sometimes play chess and when i'm out i'm looking for that vintage flame so we definitely need some lemons oh look at these nutella buns <gasps> i'm on a diet I'm loving these baby gem lettuce at the moment. And then we're gonna get some beef mince because we're gonna make chili con carne. And then I think I need some baking potatoes. And then we also need some chopped tomatoes for said chili con carne. We need some milk as usual. Me and my best friend, we used to call this Klim when we were younger. And then I'm going to pop some peppers in a chilli con carne. Do you put peppers in a chilli con carne? Oh, look, they've got these crisps in, savoury snacks, jalapeno grills. They might be a little bit too hot for me, but these, these might be nice. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, guys.
didn't get a chance to show you the carbonara so i will just update you on that unfortunately there are no visuals because the day just got away with us because like i said we had loads of admin stuff to do yesterday anyway my battery died i could not show you my carbonara it wasn't as nice as it was in Italy. It's never gonna be that good. I'm sorry, it's just never gonna be that good ever. I still got a lot to do, but I hope you've all enjoyed this vlog nonetheless. I know there wasn't a lot going on in this vlog. I filmed as much as I can, but it's just time for me at the moment. I'm, I'm struggling to find the time. I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I don't know what kind of video is coming next. I'm just gonna be as surprised as you are. And yeah, I will hopefully see you in my next video. Always, always always leave me a comment give me a thumbs up on this video it really does help me out the most with my channel and our little community that we're growing here and yeah i appreciate you all for watching and i will see you in the next video bye guys